हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल लो फॉम सी सो दिस इज द वीडियो अबाउट द डिजिटलिस आई वॉन्ट टू एक्सप्लेन वॉट आर द एडल्ट्रेंस विच आर यूज इन द डिजिटलिस ओके सो बिफोर गोइंग टू टू दिस इफ यू हैव एनी डाउट अबाउट द डिजिटलिस और इफ यू वॉन्ट एनी इन्फॉर्मेशन अबाउट डिजिटलिस सो मेक श्योर टू कमेंट आई विल डेफिनेटली मेक ए वीडियो ऑन इट ऑन दट and a brief information about digitalis so which is the cardiac glycosides so now when it comes to the adulterants so mostly when it comes to the digitalis purpurea uh, there are three adulterants right so the three adulterants are like here the leaves of the digitalis is adulterated with the verbascum thapsus so remember when the digitalis uh, before going into this i want to tell you what are adulterants so adulterants means the high quality drug which is mixed with the cheap quality drug so this makes this makes the benefits for the sellers for the person who are selling the digitalis because it increases the weightage of the adulterant in the pure drug so by this uh, adulterants uh, we, we get the less therapeutic effect so this can be identified using like a microscopic study so these are the adulterants which are used instead of a pure drug so we you can we can say that the adulterants are the cheap quality drugs and and sometimes it may be harmful also okay and now what are the adulterants means so first category the leaves of the digitalis is adulterated with the verbascum thapsus is mixed with the genuine drug so here genuine drug is the digitalis leaves and the uh, adulterant means the cheap quality or it may be harmful that is verbascum thapsus and that can be distinguished so even though they mixed the verbascum thapsus in the genuine drug that is digitalis these can be identified microscopically how means by the presence of large woolly branched candelabra trichomes so remember the verbascum thapsus is the adulterant which is mixed in the genuine drug so these can be microscopically observed like under the microscope uh, how mean here there is a large woolly branched candelabra trichomes okay the trichomes are nothing but the branched candelabra trichomes and this is the first adulterant and when it comes to the second type so the primrose leaves of the primula vulgaris so under the family primulaceae and before i have told you this adulterant which is that uh, Verbascum thapsus is the same group of digitalis like the scrofuliaceae family, and this is the primulaceae family are added to the digitalis, and which can be and these can also be detected microscopically. So these are also detected microscopically, microscopically. So how we can detect means see here, uniceded covering trichomes. So here there is a uniceded, not unicellular. This is an uniceded covering trichomes. which are 8 to 9 celled so don't forget here 8 to 9 celled that is the uniceded covering trichomes remember this the lateral leaves of the primrose are striate and the lateral leaves lateral leaves means when you consider the leaves like when you consider the complete uh, stalk of the leaves so the side there is a leaf striate so those leaves are striate okay and comfrey leaves so this is the third adulterant Uh, these are the leaves of the symptom of his analysis so these are the leaves of the symptom of his analysis so these are from the family borgnesiae and these are multicellular trichomes see before one is uniceded uniceded is entirely different from the multicellular so how means see for example when you observe the trichome so there is only one outline then it is uniceded so when it comes to multicellular in that trichome if you observe like more number of horizontal lines so if you observe the two horizontal lines that is biseriate when you are observed more than three lines in that uniseriate then you can say it is a multicellular trichome so if you not understand what is multicellular trichome i'll post uh, a picture about the multicellular trichomes and the uniseriate trichomes in the, the post okay and you can check in that and from hook at the end of the trichome so if you observe the trichome is straight but at the tip it forms like at apex it forms like an hook and what are the uses of the digitalis purpurea uh, when it comes to the uses of digitalis purpurea mostly we will say it is in cardioglycosides so itself name indicating that cardiac means which which shows its action at the heart 
and here the distal glycosides are played and still playing a great role in the medical science for more than 200 years see distalis is still playing a great role since 200 years ago from 200 years onwards it has its own capability to treat the heart diseases so the most abundantly used in the treatment of chf so chf means you have already known congestive heart failure and that is inability of the blood to pump from the heart right to the body parts and it is also known as the left ventricle failure because the pure blood that is the oxygenated blood from uh, entered into the left ventricle from there it get distributed to several parts right and this is also known as the congestive heart failure and another major use is the slowing the ventricle rate in the atrial fibrillation and atrial flutter and supraventricular tachycardia and premature extra systoles this is due to negative chronotropic effect at atrioventricular node so here when you observe is the major use is it slows see here not reducing it slowing the ventricular rate so the ventricular rate is showed where in atrial fibrillation so what is fibrillation means the continuous repetition of the heart rate increases atrial flutter and supraventricular tachycardia and you already know tachycardia means mostly at the supraventricular region and the premature extra systoles and if you want to know all about like atrial fibrillation atrial flutter supraventricular tachycardia or premature extra systoles so mostly you can find this all are the types of the arrhythmia okay so these three like uh, atrial fibrillation these are all the divisions of the arrhythmia so the types of arrhythmia are these so why arrhythmia means arrhythmia means irregular heartbeat right so in that irregular heartbeat only we get the atrial fibrillation atrial flutter and supraventricular tachycardia so i think if you want to know more about this then try to make a note on the arrhythmia to get uh, this is due to because negative chronotropic effect negative so means the force of contraction decreases right and this is because of atrioventricular node blockage okay and one more thing distalis is also useful for the sodium potassium blockage